In Australia, snake expert Eric Atherson was talking to his best friend Magnus in Sweden. It was Magnus's son's birthday. But their call was interrupted by Eric's 17 and a half foot pet python. Hello, Magnus. Hello. Hello. I told him that there was no problem. I told him that there was helt enkelt att han inte hade tid. Scrub pythons are known to be extremely unpredictable. And for a brief moment, Eric was distracted. Chances of an accident happening are always there. All of a sudden, you might have a face full of snake. <laughs> And it really only takes a split second for that snake to be all over you. On Sunday morning, after Eric had failed to show up for work, police were called to his home. They were met with a gruesome sight. I've never been involved with anything um, as bizarre. It looked like he may have been assaulted, like, say, he'd been punched, you know, in the face. It appeared to me that he'd probably put his hands up in an effort to um, push the snake off, but um, was unsuccessful. The snake had locked Eric's arms to his sides, so he was unable to protect his face. The injuries to his face were most likely caused by the snake trying to swallow him after he'd passed away. I can only assume that if he hadn't had the snake out, he, he'd still be alive. 